All right, so last episode went off the rails. Hey guys, what's good? How are we doing today? Welcome back to the channel. All right, so in our last reaction to summertime rendering, we got to see that entire festival scene play out. That shit was crazy. We got introduced to this mother character. I can't remember the name they gave her, but she was floating in the sky covered by this like red aura. We saw this huge shadow boss type monster. And basically it makes it seem like the festival, the night of the festival is kind of like the final time that Shinpei has to try and figure things out. Because once the festival happens, that's when like everyone on the island dies. Also got confirmation that his eye is, it came from mother. At least the shadow said he took the eye from mother. I don't know how Ushio got that eye. That's a big question. So hopefully we start to get some of these answers. All right, guys, so before we start today's reaction, if you want to show me some support, be sure to hit that like button if you have not done so yet smash that subscribe button hit the bell for notifications friendly reminder i will be streaming these reactions over on twitch so if you want to get a head start on that go over there hit the follow button the link should be down in the description below all right guys so with all of that out of the way let's get it oh nice are we we're, we're gonna pick up with her she's like one of the ones i have the most questions about oh wow she noticed that guy was a shadow immediately credibility to that message she also she was calling herself two separate names during last episode. She's got to have some dual personality type shit going on. <laughs> she walked right by Mio when she was riding down. Oh shit. She knows Shinpei's name this early on. Shinpei Ajiro. It can't be him. Dude, what the hell? Oh. Someone recognizes her. Masahito Karakiri. Wait, so I, let me just get her name down because she was using two separate names last episode. So what's this guy call her? Hizuru. Okay, so her name's Hizuru. I love how she... Uh, She's able to spot out the shadows. And she said 14 years, so she's been gone for 14 years. Wait, what? She can't stand being around this guy for five minutes? That's Ushio's dad. Alan. So she knows Ushio's dad. Damn, the, the little, little Ushio Mio looks so cute. <laughs> One of my epic original stories instead. Ryunosuke. Oh, okay, so she doesn't know Shinpei because he left the island. I mean, he came to the island after she left. Wait, 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 wait. The dad just said... He's actually my friend's son, but I took him in a long time ago. Do we know who Shinpei's original parents are? Asa's parents in a boating accident. Oh, and Hizuru's just off. All right, <laughs> where is she going? I should avoid meeting him. Bro, what does she know? Are the police idiots? True. Did they do a DNA test? Did they even check? They didn't do a check. Yeah, unbelievable. Remind you of that time a while back. 14 years ago when Ryunosuke died. That's the name she said. The. I'm pretty sure that's when she was... Oh, shit. Is that her? Haine. Whoa. Wait. So this is, I'm pretty sure that, so Ryunosuke, that sounds like one of the names she was calling herself last episode. And then she says Haine. And I'm, I may be wrong. My memory might just be serving because it's been a week since I watched it. But I swear the mother's name that like that mother character floating in the sky during the festival. I thought they referred to her as Haine. I'm <laughs> okay. I'm just not going to ask questions. Wow, she's just opening... Oh, God. Oh, okay, her dead body is in there. What the hell? Was there just, like, makeup covering it? 
nurse at the Hishigata clinic. Oh, ever mention her doppelganger? Obviously, it seems like the dad doesn't know anything about it. Isokone Asako. Is this the girl from the flashback? Oh, wait, she's the mom of the little girl. Oh, what's it crying about? Oh, wow, wait, she's already a shadow. Yeah, look. Oh my god, the shadow's avoiding her feet. That's insane. That's also scary. Look at her face, mocking Alan and Ushio. Yeah, that daughter has no emotion in her eyes. But the shadows are definitely catching on to her. They gotta know that she knows something's up. Oh, this is when she's hanging upside down. Oh, she's talking to the fisherman. Oh my god, dude. Her rack. Are you crying? Dang, look at her. Need you to do something for me. There is so much planning going on. Shadow Asako. Oh, dude, he's seeing the ant. The ant crawling. Oh my god, their faces. Yo, that was terrifying. The real three. Dude, it, it, he's in such a stressful situation. Like, I would not be able to handle this. <laughs> Were you wearing white underwear yesterday? <laughs> it's very important. <laughs> oh, he saw up her dress. He saw the underwear. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've seen those underwear a few times. <laughs> Mio was copied yesterday. Yeah, so there's no way to prevent Mio getting copied at this point. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, that's so creepy. Any idea where Sis went? So are they looking for, like, the Ushio shadow that's going off on her own? Do you know the shadow sickness? I'd be scared to ask people that, because if you ask one of the sh like someone and they turn out to be a shadow, like I'd be so scared the shadow would just kill me. <laughs> Have you seen a busty woman recently? <laughs> of course this guy knows. He's like, I saw her use a G cup. That's so funny. Wait, I'm pretty sure you know Hizuru? Yeah, wait, didn't they say that he they've they've never met each other? Oh, her contact info. <laughs> what the dad just said confused me as hell, because I thought, he, like, earlier we found out that, like, she left the island before Shinpei even came. Out of order. Did they just put that sign on the stall that the dad just walked into? Oh, he called the phone the fisherman has. She's an acquaintance of him. There's a similar code in one of her books. Wait, I paused it. Like, the book they're referring to? They haven't mentioned it in a little bit, but isn't it like the book about, that's kind of like about the Shadow Sickness? I, I have like a vague memory of the, of the book they're talking about. But I thought the author of that book went by, I, I thought the author of, the, of that book was like a different name. Go to the funeral hall alone. Well, that fisherman gave him, like, barely any info. <laughs> oh, the father's walking in again. Oh, this is the shadow. Oh! <laughs> he goes, what the? She had the sledgehammer ready, bro. <laughs> Don't move a muscle. Yo, is this guy about to snipe him? Oh shit, he sniped his shadow. Did he do that just to confirm? 
Oh my god. Oh! That was a delayed impact. That's right, because she shot the shadow with the shotgun before. Oh, wait, the dad's taking a shit in the stall right now. He's still there. <laughs> Imagine being in the other stall and hearing that. Tell me your name and I will save you. Dude, her character is the most interesting character in the show to me. Ryunosuke Naguno and her old name, but he's Wait, hold up. Okay, so this is bringing it back to what I was confused about earlier about the book and the name differentiation. So, to break the code you saw from Miss Nagumo's novel, you need to know Ryunosuke Nagumo and her real name. But Ryunosuke is not Hizuru, but he's still saying her real name. She is, in fact, the real Ryunosuke Nagumo. Wow, she... Oh, my God. Dude, she is so busty, it's unreal. He wants an autograph. I'm still confused about the name differentiation. Oh, she's noticing this must not be the first time he's lived this day. Yeah, you know, she figured it all out. And when she was just talking, it, it's saying her words are uh, coming from Hizuru, not Ryunosuke. Bro. And you know how, how mu much relief that must be for him to be able to tell someone he's been time traveling? Kind of like Subaru and ReZero. That's insane. I'm still, I still just have so many questions about this chick. Like, she goes by two different names. Like, her author name is Ryunosuke, I think. But then everyone in the island calls her Hizuru. Gotta be something going on there. I just, I need an answer because I'm so confused. Uh, but that episode was pretty good. Just a lot of, uh, like, exposition. This is the first episode we really got to see everything from a POV of Hizuru. They showed us that quick flashback of her crying over that dead kid in the ground. I'm pretty sure she was calling him Ryonosuke. So maybe he died and she took on his persona or something. But then she also said that other name that I'm pretty sure was the name they referred to the mother character that was floating in the air as. So that that's my biggest question right now. Like, everything else... Makes pretty much sense to me, but her character is confusing the shit out of me. But I I'm hoping we'll get some answers, uh, at least in the next episode or maybe episodes after that. But that's all I really got to say about this episode. So let's just move on to the next one. Maybe you met my brother. Okay, so her brother is Ryunosuke? Ryunosuke. She's saying it's time Ryunosuke, like she's talking to him. But she goes by both names. So did her brother die and she just took on his persona? I don't know, but I thought Ryunosuke has a different last name than she does. I'm just going to stop asking. <laughs> book is actually good proof. Swamp Man. That's right, that's the name of the book. Yeah, the Swamp Man is exactly like the, the Shadows. Oh, she met a Shadow. And it killed her entire family. That's actually kind of smart. She's keeping info so like, so like Shadows don't really figure out stuff about her. Yeah, she, sh she smashed it with a freaking sledgehammer. Won't be any more shadows of him. Wait, so can they only make one shadow of a person and that's it? Oh, you'll never get this sickness again. Always. Okay, lit. All right, so you just got to kill the shadow and it's good. Oh, he got immunity. So he did have a shadow. Okay, yo, this is getting interesting. I came to save you. How does she know who he is? That Like, I'm going to pause it real quick. Because we, we learned from Shinpei's dad, or like his Alan, that guy, that they, Shinpei came to the island after she left. And she didn't know, like, she didn't know who Shinpei was when she was on the boat at the beginning of this story, right? So how does she know who he is? That's like my one thing I'm, I'm questioning. 
54 hours until the festival. And that four-armed shadow is like the final boss. Or maybe the mother character is... Handle one more thing before that? You're going, you're going to fail? Oh, shit. So he realizes she fails doing that. What the hell? Wait. Oh, was she recording their conversation earlier? Wait, has no memory? Wait, what? Now she's like a different person. She just said, got it, Onei-chan. She's walking into this room with all shadows. <laughs> yes, does she have a soul? <laughs> Yo, that cut! <laughs> Dude, her head just got slocked off. Dude, the, these shadows are terrifying. You ain't too far off, but that ain't it. Come on, give us an answer. Ryunosuke's got the power to do battle with the shadow. Ryunosuke's a tough one. Oh my god, bro. Holy shit! Oh, she smashed the shadow. Yo, let's go! Hizuru had a twin brother. His name was Ryunosuke. Okay, so her twin brother's the one that died. Just hits the shadow. I love how you just hit the shadow on the ground and then just the shadow evaporates. He had strangulation marks. Oh shit. Oh, I missed. Oh, it was a hit. Oh shit. Oh yeah, he's ready to join the fight. Hell yeah. Oh no. Yo, this little girl is so terrifying. <laughs> so are you really human? Go for the chopsticks. Holy shit. Bro, these visuals they're showing us are insane. Oh my God. Is it running away? Holy shit, the red eyes were terrifying. Change to plan B. It's our turn now. What is he giving him? Did he just give him a nail gun? Yo, also I didn't mention it because there was so much going on, but again, she saw the future for a hot second. Because when we were at the festival two episodes ago, she saw that she was about to get her head blown off and she was able to kind of dodge the hit. And then during this fight scene a second ago, she saw she was about to get attacked. At least it made it seem like that. So maybe she has some sort of power to be able to briefly see into the future, like a, a few seconds into the future. Oh God, check behind you. Oh, she knows it's useless. You're no fun. Oh, shut up. Oh! Wow, wait, it can travel like that? Bye bye. That's so broken, it's able to travel like that. Oh, is this plan B? Yo, they're trying to shoot the shadow with nails. That's actually epic. Dude, her coming running out. Oh my god, her boobs were massive in that shot. Oh, let's go. I was wondering where Shinpei was. Grab her ass, bro. Yes, tackle her. Let's freaking go, boys. Captured. Oh shit, you disgusting rat. Oh! It really just bit into his arm like that. Will it change the future though? <laughs> Why is it laughing like that? That's terrifying. Dude, her turning around smiling. So she is the one that drowned Ushio. 
It was me who strangled her to death. Good God. It's the end. Our whole family is going home. Yo, pairing with this music, this scene is scary as hell. <laughs> Just come with us. <laughs> Dude, this little girl is one of the scariest girls in all of anime. Oh! Smashed! Oh, shit, dude. Yeah, what was that about? Going home? Oh, that was a major theme in Swamp Man. Nice to meet you. Dude, she's talking like the brothers taken over her body right now. Alright, so it's Hizuru that wrote the novel. I come out in her in interviews? What is... Uh, dude, what is happening with that? Whoa! the hell? Just punched herself. It's gonna be Hizuru now. Yep, we need a set of few things straight. Look the blood on her rack. Letting down her hair turns her into Hizuru. There's still some time for you. Oh, are they waiting outside for Mio's shadow to show up? I wonder if the shadows can can like talk to each other oh what happened oh no the knife is bloody what happened oh okay please tell me this is just <laughs> mio i thought she cut her finger they baited us so hard right there yeah get that knife out of her hands <laughs> Even if she's not the shadow, I would not want to see her holding a knife after I've seen what her shadow does. <laughs> oh god. Whoa! What is she doing here? She never showed up here this early on. Bro, what is... <laughs> This show, man, so confusing. All right, so these were some really nice two episodes. We got a lot more like, I wouldn't say answers, but just a lot more information in regards to this female character who apparently is two people put into one character. Hizuru, which is the, the girl, and then her twin brother, Ryunosuke, who died a while, a while back ago to a shadow, apparently. But they haven't really explained how Ryanosuke is able to like take control of her body like that. I don't know if it's so she has a split personality and it's all her doing this because he did die or there's actually some supernatural shit going on there. A fight scene with them inside that one family's house with it got so bloody and I just love how you can just hit the shadow with a sledgehammer and if you just hit it in a good spot it just implodes the shadow like I'm glad that they're not that hard to kill because if they were harder to kill, it would be such a bigger issue. But it, it, I mean, I'm not undermining the issue. It's a huge <laughs> issue already. I would just say the one thing I'm still confused about is it seems like Izuru knows Shinpei, Shinpei or at least like knew who he is before she actually met him. Because I, I brought this up a couple times during the reaction that I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure she didn't know she never met him before or at least they said that shinpei came to the island after she left so i'm pretty sure she she's never met him before so they're making it seem like she knew who he was when she was coming to this island at the beginning of the story and even like near the end of this past episode when the brother was was um like talking for her he said like oh um this wasn't in in your uh, my sister's notes about you and then she punched herself and then his rude took back over so maybe there's something there maybe i'm misunderstanding it maybe she didn't know who he was until she came to this island and now she's just working with him uh if that's a if you guys can let me know in the comments definitely let me know because i'm 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 struggling to comprehend that but if it if it's like 
not what I think it is, also let me know. All right, guys. So remember, if you enjoyed today's reaction, hit that like button. If you have not done so yet, smash that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Remember, stay blessed, not stressed out there. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.